Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a simple upgrade to my trailer that will save me indefinitely from ever having a blowout again. And this is a tire pressure monitoring system, but it also has a thermal couple in the sensors. So I'll know the tire pressure and I'll also know the temperature of each tire, which is very important on a trailer because when you're towing a lot of weight, it does really matter, especially when the temperatures fluctuate on the road surfaces and then your tires start to get hotter, the air inside of them starts to expand and then you have a blowout. The other issue is trailer tires pick up a lot of debris off the road and it's really hard to know when a trailer tire is flat when you're cruising down the highway doing 75 to 80 until it starts flinging pieces off of it. A company called Gouda sent me a tire pressure monitoring system and this system only has four sensors and since my truck is a F350 dually and it already has the factory TPMS sensors, I only needed trailer sensors in my truck. So they sent me a kit that only had four sensors. They do have kits that can do duallys or normal single rear wheel trucks. But for my application, it just made sense to get the four sensor kit. It comes with the manual. It also comes with this nice pad that goes on your dash. You get the controller that shows you all of the information and it is solar powered, which is great. And then you have each sensor. So I have four sensors. They have an eight sensor kit and I believe they have one for a dually, which would be two extra additional sensors. Under the tire pressure monitoring sensors, you have all of your hardware, your cables, and also a tool so you can tighten each sensor. If you're interested in one of these kits, the link is in the description. Go check them out. This is a pretty simple step. All you do is remove your factory valve stem, replace it with the correct TPMS sensor. This one is the right front. Ooh, look at that. Now I have all the TPMS sensors on all four wheels. I'm going to install the controller into the truck and then we can connect everything wirelessly and make sure all our tire pressures are correct. Just pulled the controller out of the packaging and before you fire this thing up, you want to charge it with a DC to DC adapter. But after that, it says you never need to charge it again because it will use the solar power to continuously keep it charged, which is really nice because then you don't have to have this plugged in and have wires running around your dash. Another good thing is you're not always going to be towing a trailer or I'm not always going to be towing a trailer. So I can put this in my center console when I'm not using it. The sticky pad that comes in the kit, I can just throw it up on the dash whenever I'm towing a trailer see exactly what my tire pressures are and my temps. So now it's plugged into the DC to DC adapter. It is charging and we can see all of the information, but there's no tire pressure sensors. So we're gonna have to go through these modes to set everything up. Turn the monitor off. If you don't wanna see the information displayed on it, you just hit the set button and the subtract button and you just hold those down, it'll turn it off. To turn it back on, you hold the set button and the plus button and I'll turn it back on. How to set this up, each sensor, I'm going to hold this code button down for three seconds, and then I'll go into the mode right here. And from there, I select which tire I'm going to be doing, which I'm going to be doing the trailer tire. And it even has a tire, one for the spare, Man, that's not bad. So we're doing the left front. What I'm gonna do now is I have the left front sensor right here, nice and close to it. We're gonna hit the code button again. And now the sensor is coded to it. The tire goes to zero. It's gonna start beeping like this, as you can see. You wanna delete an ID code for a TPMS sensor. We can see this one keeps reading zero. You just hold this code button for three seconds, you go into that menu, then you go and you select the tire, and then you just hold the minus button for 
three seconds. And it'll delete the one. If you hold it for six seconds, it will delete all of them. So let's try to get this one back in here again. I now have all the sensors connected. And as you can see, my passenger rear tire is at 47 PSI. That's a tire that picked up a nail and I have a plug-in. So I've been needing to order a new tire because all the tires were new. When I, I just put them on at the beginning of the year, picked up a nail like a week after I put the brand new tires on. But this is great because now I can see, look at that temperature and there's a bunch of different modes. So let's modify these. Now, if I want to change the tire pressure warning for the low or the high or the temperature, warning for the low or the high you can also change the um the temperature in fahrenheit or celsius it's already in fahrenheit and then you could also have two modes so you just hold down the plus button to get into mode one for three seconds right there and i guess mode two is like a desert setting i'm not exactly sure what the difference is but you just hold that down for three seconds you're back into mode two so we'll just stay into mode one. And then you hold down setting for three seconds and it gets you in the settings menu right here. And you can go to PSI bar and then you can continue to go settings. That's the temperature range. That's Fahrenheit or Celsius is the next one. And then you can set for each axle, you can set the pressure highs and lows. So as you, see, you can see right there, we're not even worried about the front axle because I don't have any sensors in there. And here, I want the high to not be 175 PSI. I want it to be like 80. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> I don't want it to be 100. Like 100 is like super high. I guess 100 is as low as it goes. I would rather have it. Oh, it doesn't even go to 100. What's going on here? Like... 101 I guess I mean that that's a lot of pressure for a trailer tire because usually I keep them at like 75 to 80 next so the low is uh I mean I'd say at like 70 I want a warning on a trailer tire okay and we'll do the same thing over here 101. I should have just went the other way. What did I do? Okay, and then the last one. Oh man, yeah, let's not go that way. 70 again. Okay, and then setting one more time and now we're in our temperature so i you know 158 i'm not sure what the tires actually you know the temperatures are on them so i'll leave it at 158 and then we'll see what it does when i'm towing like a big diesel truck or something later on because i don't have anything to tow today and then we're back to psi so now we are good we can just hold the setting button down and it'll get us out of there three seconds and we're good to go Look at that. Now, when I'm driving down the highway, I'll have all the information I need on my trailer tires. This is awesome. And I have the temperature, right? Today it's really cold and it's already, you know, like I said, it's already showing me that that tire is low. So I'm just super pumped about having this whole system. I'm really excited that I finally have a way to monitor my tire pressure and tire temps on my trailer. It's always something that I worry about when I'm hauling cars down the highway and you just never know what's gonna happen. So now I have a really definitive answer. If 
my tires have air pressure or not because I'm always checking my tires when I'm towing something and especially going across country, it's just really draining to always be making sure that your trailer tires are still back there because if a trailer tire is going low, you won't really notice it until it starts coming apart. So big shout out to the company. I'm going to put a link in the description with the code for that product. I would recommend getting it because if you have a trailer or if you just want TPMS sensors on a vehicle, an older vehicle that doesn't come with them, it's kind of a nice unit because it's solar powered. You don't have to hook a bunch of wires up to it. It's all wireless, really nice unit. So if you like these videos, make sure to click that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time. Thank you.